Hi, and welcome back for another tutorial with Mr. Patch Mode. Today, we are going to do the fill in the blanks activity on Nearpod. So, we're going to just add in a new slide, and this time we're going to go to activity and scroll over and find fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks is a lot of fun. Um, and there's a few different ways to set this up. Now, I have some pre pasted, pre, uh, pre determined text that I'm going to copy and paste in here. So you can type the old fashioned way in here if you like, uh, or if you have something else already set up like I do, I'm going to just take this text and I'm going to copy and paste it and put it straight into the fill in the blanks. Now this does take a little bit of setup. So once I get my questions and answers in there, I can decide if I want to leave trivia question in there. I think I would take that out of there. I'll leave the word answer in there because that will give them their prompt. And here is my fill in the blanks text. Now you can do this with um, a paragraph and say, um, pluck out all the nouns or the verbs or however, whatever lesson you wanna do. Um, but there you go. I'm gonna hit the next button. Oh, you can also pick the different colors and different text and fonts. So. Kind of fun. Oh, I like that one. All right, I'm going to hit next. And now is where you build your word bank. And you build your word by, bank by just clicking on the word you want to replace. So which D Disney movie is Elsa in? The answer is Frozen. Now I can go through and pluck out all the answers, or I can be creative and pluck out Elsa. And so the answer is Frozen, so they have to find a character from Frozen in the, in the list. Um, Take out mini. Take out north and pole. And we can take out the Grinch. And maybe make this one a little bit more challenging and take out Dr. Seuss. Now these have to be plucked out separately when they're two separate words. And I'm going to show you how to fix that on our next um, activity that I'm going to do. So I'm going to hit done. And then our fill in the blanks activity is done. I can't show you a preview for what the kids see until after the fact, but it's a, it's a pretty easy fill in the blank. So my next one, I'm going to show you how to do multiple, uh, like phrases, how to, how to do phrases that are plucked out. So in this set, I have removed the spaces in these phrases that I wanna take out and I've inserted the spaces with underscores. Oops, too much, too much. Right there. So I'm gonna copy and paste this and put it back in my fill in the blank. Oops, I'm gonna get rid of that. I accidentally pasted that. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't scroll all the way up. Sorry about that. All right, so now when I have chosen my color scheme and font I'm gonna hit next and now when I pluck out when I click on the phrase it's gonna pluck the whole phrase out and so you can basically do multiple words in phrases and I can take all the answers out this way so you can set it up however you like and then I have my questions with blank answers for this one and then I can hit done so that's, that's the fill in the blanks activity in a nutshell, and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day.